and welcome to Shea Chef Willie. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a, an artichoke garnish. You tell me. Uh, which is called Artichokes Berry Ghoul. These are frost kissed uh, arti artichokes uh, in season from March to June roughly. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to peel this back and get down to the heart of the artichoke. And since it's something that oxidizes very easily, we're going to have to keep it submerged in uh, citric water, which is uh, lemon will help us with that, until we actually cook it uh, in white wine and chicken stock. To take off all the, the lower petals, you can just rip these off by hand. Be careful though, because they have points, as, as you might know artichokes, artichoke petals do. You just want to rip these down as you go. So these you just want to you want to peel them and break them like that uh, rapidly, so you don't waste too much time uh, until you get down to the outer edge of the heart, which we're starting to see right in here. All right, so uh, we've peeled our artichoke down to uh, its first stage, and we want to go ahead and make our acidic water. So I'm just going to cut a lemon long ways in half and squeeze it right to my bowl of cold water as well as I can. I have a little paper towel here to, uh, to cover it, to keep it completely submerged in water once we put our artichoke in there. All right, so now we have both of our artichokes peeled, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is submerge both of them, uh, just the first petals peeled, just so that they're exposed already to uh, citric water. So it's submerged in water. We're gonna take it, and we're going to uh, cut, find the exposed heart, and we're gonna reach up about three quarters of an inch, we're going to cut the top off, the top of the petals, like so. And we see that it's exposed to uh, almost to the heart, but it's okay. We're going to, we can soak that a little bit. And then this is where we need to move fast. We're going to cut the bottom uh, of the stem off, like so. And we're going to take our turning knife and we're going to begin uh, peeling down to what you see the white part here because this is fibrous uh, rather quickly because it's going to begin to oxidize. And then take off the sides, the last remaining full part, green part of the petals. and then trim it up nice and pretty. Keep exposing it to water. And we're gonna dig down in here. Clean out all the, the hay, as the French call it. All right, so now our artichokes are in the uh, acidic water and we're going to uh, quickly chop up a little bit of carrot and onion. You can add celery if you have it for uh, some aromatic garnish. All right, so we're gonna add the olive oil, a few tablespoons, once it's nice and hot. First, we're gonna start with the clove of garlic. All right, so our garlic is sizzling. We're gonna add our aromatic garnish when our pot's nice and hot. We're just gonna swirl this around. So we're gonna sweat this out for about three or four minutes, no color, okay, just sweating it. Um, once the vegetables start to get a little bit translucent, so we're going to add our artichoke halves. We're just going to grab our, grab our artichoke halves and pop them in. I even like to take one of the lemons, I like the flavor of lemon, and just add it in as well. And swirl it around really nicely. Okay, so now our artichokes just sweat a little bit, and I'm going to... Um, Hit it with white wine first, deglaze it, and uh, you can use any white wine, but if you, have, if you happen to have the choice, Sauvignon Blanc is really nice. So that's reducing, and then we're going to add in our chicken stock right next door. All right, so we don't want to forget to season it. A couple pinches of salt. Our white wine, a couple twists of pepper. Our white wine is cooked off um, almost completely. And now we're just going to add in our um, warm chicken stock. And we're going to cover it and let that cook. Pretty 
soft. So, artichokes are cooked. They're mildly soft. Let's get to take them out with a spoon. And we're going to use the cooking liquid and let them cool in that. Just going to pick this up and pour it right over the top, strain it right over the top of them. That's good liquid. Uh, we're going to put our artichokes right in there to roast it and get a nice color, all right, on all sides. All right, well, there we have it. Artichokes berry ghoul, uh, roasted. And these are going to be part of a greater garnish uh, that I want to show you. We have a, a quick, quick tips. Uh, fennel and pea video that uh, you can go check out right now. They're going to go together with this for a fish dish we're going to be putting together soon. So let me know if you have any questions or comments right below the like button and uh, I'll get back to you with anything you want to know. Thanks for stopping by. Do you know what you're looking for? Because I don't understand. Saying that you wanted more after changing